Day four. Here we go. It's Monday. It's time to start working hard. We're going to begin the day by uh, getting the new heater going. And then uh, when the, the tax public office opens, we're going to go pay our property taxes. And then it's London bathroom. It's lots of fun. Fortunately, it's not too, uh, I think it's plus seven they said outside right now. That's probably a little less than 50 Fahrenheit. Feels about the same temperature as in the house. I think the in the house is a little bit warmer, but you know, for this Canadian, not too bad. So we'll get this butane heater and these are 30, I think there's something like 30, 30 or so dollars to fill up, but they'll last for about 25 days on this heater. So this is a really efficient way to heat the house. Of course, it's a little bit heavy. You have to carry these things in and they're quite, quite heavy. Mr. Bub's enjoying the morning, having his little run. So first order of the day. Lay out back tile wall for the shower. And we're gonna do a subway tile border just to frame things in because that's where the doors are going to be attached and we're gonna do hey bingy <laughs> we're gonna do um a hex tile in the middle and then if i get very clever we're going to use some kind of uh verbiage some kind of tile words and things like that um on the back so that um, we get some kind of nice personalized thing. Let me go show you the shower. So over here is what we're going to call our London bathroom. And it was called this because when we were in here, um, they had some fun features uh, like this wall tank for the toilet, which was also black. Great little handle, which I'm still hoping we can somehow salvage and all the black trim and some incredible wallpaper, which I wish I could find a replacement for. However, this is our shower base, which we are keeping, and it was enclosed in very big walls. So this is our back area that we will be doing the tile on. Back to this, and now to try to figure out what we're going to say. I think I already know, but we're gonna let that be a surprise to you uh when we finally get it all together okay rain started so you run up as soon as the rain starts heavy you run out and you check the gutters good that one's going good water moving this room's still not doing great i noticed that the water dripping was hitting the wall first with the molding so i put a little board to kind of deflect it in and i think that is a good stop gap or that'll help Really excited that this is the first area we're gonna re-roof because this is most of our leaks. And potentially such a beautiful room too. Here we go, water again. Yeah, I can feel it hitting my head. Yeah, you can see places where it'll come in for sure. All right, this one, this is where we got our leak down low but it looks like it's not bad here. Oh yeah, look at that, the grate came off. That's why it's all clogged up. Gotta get that back on, but at least there's not a bunch of standing water. All right, so here we are in our bedroom and uh, slightly upgraded uh, light fixture. And then of course our nice little bed. And then this is directly under that leak you just saw. So this was, this, most of this is a remnant from when we had the huge leak the other year. But you can see if you look closely that it is, does look a little bit swollen. So I think some of the water's gotten back in here. So it's a bummer. It feels a bit uh, stuffy in here from that. So again, one more reason why we're really excited to see this tower get re-roofed. Okay, so this is deeply discouraging. We thought we had this fixed, we had the roofer come and he got the got what we thought was the leak. But uh, planter, this is the planter bathroom bedroom number 12. And it looks like there's still a leak. We gotta figure it out. Okay, these are lifesavers, these butane heaters. So we picked up a second one at Leroy Merlin and 
very important to make sure these are tight these connections right here so we'll give this a nice little tighten hard as we can because we do not want butane spilling out and lighting on fire and here it is in action isn't that something it's butane so apparently it doesn't leave that many fumes now to be sure we don't let her uh, we don't let her stay burning when we're sleeping or anything or when we're out of the room we turn it off but throws great heat efficiently Okay, third job for the day was to go pay the property tax. Now, there's two property taxes in France. Uh, one of them is going away for some people, but not for us yet. And we pay a considerable amount, but apparently, I mean, for North America, that's nothing. But in France, that's actually a lot, like most chateaux are quite a bit less. So I think it's because we're registered for business and maybe we should get out of that. On the other hand, uh, there could be advantages down the road. So we're still thinking through that problem is they keep sending it to our old address and it never gets to us so i was really worried they were gonna hit us for a thousand bucks but it sounds like they're not going to penalize us very thankful all right day four food challenge now uh, we often as you know take college students around to different countries and when we're on the road we give all the students and all the staff uh, exactly 20 euros per day for food now that probably seems tight to you and it would be really expensive if you tried if you tried to eat in uh, restaurants all the time but sometimes how you do it is uh, one of the meals or two of the meals sometimes we'll eat in a grocery store or a bakery they're quite a bit cheaper bakery you can eat really well for five to seven dollars seven euro and a grocery store even cheaper a couple of bucks i'll show you what a meal might look like for us and this is why you come to france so if you want a nice little sandwich you get a couple of 39 cent croissants or a pan of chocolat for 49 cents they're fantastic or maybe you want like a little pizza, that's $2. I'm not gonna spend that much money today, but you could. Or even even more efficient, look at that. 35 cent baguette. That'd be more than enough for sandwiches for one person. I think that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, let's go traditional. Oh, let's see, rustic, traditional. Well, I don't really see the traditional. So we'll go for the 35 cent baguette. And then we're gonna go find some meat. Who am I kidding? We need to get some croissants as well. These are great. These, of course, have been cooked a couple hours ago. Sometimes when I come and get them, they're still warm. We get these for the students in the morning. Sometimes we go to the bakery. Okay, we're gonna live large today. These beignets are amazing. Let's get two of those. So if you're in the mood to be healthy, here we go. We got a dollar fifty-nine. Let's get some raspberries today. And for the students, they can get a nice little sandwich. Look at the prices on these sandwiches, 99 cents, $1.09, $1.45, but we're gonna make our own today. Now, if my kids were here, they would want us to put some salami on this bread, which you can get for quite reasonable, but for less than I usually we go for ham. Easily, you can find that for a couple of dollars, quite a few options. I think we're just gonna drink water today, but if we were interested, there's definitely pop available or very good choice in France is always juice. And here you have, that's a good that's a good flavor of juice. About a dollar, two of us could share it. But the best deal in France is always water, in Europe in general. 31 cents for one and a half liters. That one's 25 cents. And the Evian big ones are 59 cents. Leslie and I don't drink a lot of alcohol, but if you did, it would be not a very expensive place to buy some. Day four, not super fancy for food. Again, the Aldi meal. And it should be said that it was just me doing it. Leslie was uh, upstairs working on the tile on the design. And so what do we have here? We have, we bought enough food for about four people. So this is a quarter portion. The strawberries, that means 40 cents for raspberries, pardon me. 11 cents for the baguette, uh, the croissant about 30, what was it 39 cents, the ham about 50 cents, the cheese, okay, I went with cheddar, I know that's very North American, but uh, that works to about, out to about 50 cents. And then the little donut there is 35 cents. So a very, very reasonable meal. The water again, I believe it was 30, was it 39, 31 cents? So basically we have a couple of bucks per person, maybe two, three dollars a person. And we could have been cheaper and we didn't need we didn't need the raspberries but so yeah you can eat nice and cheap beautiful end to the day
we maybe didn't get done what we had hoped to get done. However, it's fun to see the sunset with the umbrella tree. It's a lovely night. Well, you know, interesting day. Um, you always have so many things you wanna get done and then you don't always get them done. But we actually did make progress today. I'll come out and show you some stuff. First of all, that's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely sunset. And I uh, wanted to get going on the London bathroom. We realized we didn't have enough uh, hex tiles for the pattern. We kind of have to do the center shower pattern first. Leslie was working on that, so we had to run in and get some. Plus, we're trying to do um, a shower with uh, three transparent glass walls you know, projecting, which I thought was no big deal, but then apparently that is a big deal here. And so the Leroy Merlin was telling us we had to uh, custom make that and pay a lot of money. And so we found another place, Rico Depot, that gave us a pretty good price. And so, you know, I think we finally got one, but of course it's not in stock. So everything takes much longer than you want. Uh, so I didn't get as much tiling as I did. However, a couple of huge things. We did get the property tax paid and that has bothered me forever. That's the kind of job that, you know, in the States it would take me five minutes to pay my property tax. But here I emailed and I called and I worked on it for weeks and I had friends, James and Corinne tried to call and, and so finally got, got it in today and they took it and they did not penalize me a thousand dollars. So that's good. So that's a win. Also, we're trying to hire a structural engineer to come take a look at a few things. The front facade, also this terrace, and just walk through the whole house and tell us what our worst problems are. Boy, now that I look at it, it feels like that wall's leaning left. It's, it's, you know, when you own a chateau, you're always looking at things like that. And so uh, he had, uh, we found a guy, he's a few hours away, but he speaks English, which is great. And, uh, and so he agreed to come, um, but to wanted, uh, full payment up front online like wired money and we're kind of like well <laughs> you know usually if I knew the guy would be no problem but a few times here in France we've paid you know vendors money up front and then they just don't show or uh, if you buy something like the beds and then you know they didn't uh, they didn't send it for a year and so you're kind of like well that makes you nervous so I was right now I'm like hey can we just like give you a down payment and then pay the rest when you show and of course he's nervous because he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to drive for four hours and then we don't pay him, which fair enough. But, and he doesn't know if we're honest, you know, he doesn't know anything about that for us. So I wrote him back again. I said, Hey, I hear what you're saying. Um, here's, you know, you can Google us. This is what, who we are and you can find us online. There's a lot of stuff about us. You know, we're honest and we, and your concerns are valid. And, and so, uh, you know, we want to work with you. How about we, you know, how about we wire you 50% and then we'll just have the second 50 in cash. So as soon as you arrive, we hand it to you and everything's good. We just want to make sure he shows. And so really thankful he uh, wrote back and said he would accept that. So, you know, honestly, we didn't get everything I want done today, but we got a bunch done and we got the property tax and the structural engineer nailed down. And uh, so we'll get to the tiling tomorrow. I am going to do this tonight uh, because I am tired of a lot of problems. So I'm going to take this bad boy off and uh, see if we can get the junk out.